My name's Saf, and uh, this is my 1985 VK Commodore. When I get the car in the car show and there's elite cars everywhere and I never thought I'd be able to have a, a car that would stand out so much and, and be an elite car itself. It doesn't matter if I win or lose, it's a, it's a good feeling to have and you always get a comment no matter where you are. I first fell in love with cars when uh, Dad used to take me down to Oran Park with my brother and um, that's when I felt, felt the passion for cars. Uh, just love the noise, love watching them go around the track. I hit high school and I, I loved, loved the rotary, so I don't know what it was, I just wanted to have a rotary. I ended up with a Holden Gemini and uh, that was the love of my life. I took the springs out of it, put a big stereo in it, ended up getting another car, uh, the Mirage, was, uh, used to be back in the auto salon days. Uh, number plate was on free tonight. Had a sticker on the back of the window because dinner's on me. I was young, dumb, and uh, just wanted to have fun. Yeah, yeah when I built the ute, it, it first had a turbo on it when I bought it, and then uh, I pulled the turbo off because you know how it says, uh, you gotta be blown to be known. The performance and torque out of that blower, mate, just it's unreal. So I've done some pretty good skids on some private roads and enjoyed myself. Put an add on Gumtree, I had a Harley Davidson chopper. I put for swap, see what I'd get. Next thing you know, I've got a hit up from VK. It was bright orange, had a bonnet scoop, hideous wheels, but uh, the interior was like immaculate and it had a 383 stroker. So it was worth the swap. When I got back from holidays, I jumped in the car, I was happy as. First time I've got to driven it properly. I was driving home and then uh, the motor ended up seizing on the way home. So I was pretty disheartened. But the next thing to do was just to rip the motor out and I didn't think about building a car this extreme. I got caught in the process of, well, why it's there, I might as well keep doing this. So I ended up taking it to the fab shop and that's when all the magic happened. Took it down to the painters, down at Two Sus Custom Respray. I wanted to be different and try to think of something totally different that no one's done to a VK. So I haven't seen any Galaxy Grey VKs around and I thought I'd be probably one of the first ones to do it. Went the LSA because it was going to be um, reliable. I'd be able to take the kids in the car and not worry about breaking them down. If I wanted to bushfire the streets, it's got plenty of power to bushfire the streets. On private roads, I mean. Every other VK has a bonnet scoop, so I thought I'd do something totally different, do an engine cover, and that's why I get a dif different look about the car as well. No one's done an engine cover like that on a VK with the LSA, so I just had to cover the ugliness of the motor up and just make it all clean and neat. Some people like it, some people don't, but at the end of the day, I'm the one that likes it, so I don't care what anyone else thinks, I'm happy with it. Ended up getting the wheels from Built to Order, their Trophios. Pretty much they're 22 by 10s on the rear because I didn't want to cut the rails out so it'd still be street legal. I went for the style because no one else has that style in Australia. Um, the response I get is just unbelievable because no one else has seen the wheel or no one else has done something like this to a VK. They're a concave with a dish. I could have got a little bit more dish but they sacrificed it for the concave of the wheel and um, yeah, that's why I paid that little bit extra to be different. So what I've done with the interior, it's got two shield seats at the front and two shield seats in the rear. Well, there's only me and my wife and I only got two kids, so I thought I'd cut the middle seat out and put a centre console all the way up. I've got all the floors all boarded as well, just to give it that more show look. I just try to build the car practical for me and the kids and the missus. I got approached by Fitted Friday. They wanted me to unveil the car at their car show. I said to them, how long have I got until the show starts? And he said to me, he goes, mate, you got 10 weeks from now. By this stage, the car was pretty much just bare metal shells. Set myself a target, and in nine weeks, I built the VK from start to finish. Night of Fit of Friday, I'm driving on the stage, and the steering wheels come off. Like the first time I've driven the car and uh, unveiling it, and the steering wheels popped off because I was that nervous, and I was a bit shaky and the, the bolts were a bit loose on the steering wheel. So I've driven on the stage and the wheel fell off so I just put it on the passenger seat and steered with me two hands with the, with, with the, the steering column. The response from everyone was just ridiculous. Like the car got shared and 
posted in that many different things on Facebook and Instagram. It's just, yeah, the car's just gone right out there. Every time I take it out, everyone always snaps their necks when they're looking around and looking at it. Um, it makes me feel proud, you know, that I've built something so nice. Um, I'm very happy with the way it come out and I'm happy that everyone else likes it too. This is still different comments, you know, you can't keep everyone happy, but 98% of the people will like the, the build that I've done. I put the number plate C you're hating is because there's a lot of haters out there. So that one's for you guys and yeah. <laughs> I like driving past people when they wave at me and smile and give me the thumbs up. You know, that's, that's more rewarding. Or you see little kids in the back window waving at you, putting their thumbs up, trying to tell you to do a skid. And yeah, I just like stuff like that. Like, I'm very passionate about my cars. Um, and yeah, I just can't wait to start building another car. I don't think the wife is happy about it, but I'm sure I'm going to build something soon. Getting itchy feet already, and it's only been a month.